What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be showing you the some of the keys and some of the secrets to the silver bullet setup and how you can really improve and increase your win rate. Let's get into the video. All right, so our silver bullet AM session begins at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. New York time, okay? So make sure you're chart is set to UTC minus four in New York. And here we have our window from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., okay? So the silver bullet happens in this window, right? If you're not familiar with it, um, ICT has a video on the silver bullet, um, but essentially it is a fair value gap that forms inside the 10 to 11 o'clock a.m., um, targeting a PD array or a liquidity pool. So um, my bias this week is was is and was bearish. So coming into the session in the morning, if we go to the five minute time frame here. Um, we can see in London we created this high, we dropped down um, and left this fifteen minute fair value gap. So created a London low, rallied up into this 15 minute fair value gap where we um, dropped from, okay? So we've broken structure here. Let's change this to black. We, we broke structure there. Then we came up into this 15 minute fair value gap and all of this run was your fake run up, okay? so. We created this low, broke this low, broke this low, broke this low. My lights, my light is going crazy right now. What is going on right now? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we continued to break market structure here to the downside. So uh, we even broke, uh, well, that's after the fact, but um, we were breaking market structure here um, before 10, 10 a.m. Here, okay. So... We dropped from the 15 minute, we left a five minute fair value gap in here that we did not um, go higher in here. So we were respecting this five minute gap and we dropped lower. We see here, um, if I move this over, we left this five minute fair value gap here between the 950 candle and the 10 a.m. candle. So um, if we drop down to the one minute, there was also a one minute fair value gap in here, as well as this one minute fair value gap here from 9.30 to 9.32. We left this gap in here. So um, there's a buy side fair value gap. We traded down in a way, then back down one more time leaving a sell side uh, fair value gap here or sell fair value gap here. So this whole area is now considered a balanced price range, okay? So that is our first key. So not only do we have a fair value gap here, but we have multiple. So once to the upside or once to the downside. So this is your balance price range. So if you notice when we came down, we failed to come back up into this one minute fair value gap. Aha, why? Because this was already a balanced price range. So with that being note, um, noted, that balanced price range is a tip that you can use to know that price, you can be pretty confident that price is not gonna return back up here. So 
now we're looking at this five minute free value gap as we're dropping down here. We come back up here and tap into it. This is where we took the cells this morning with the Discord group in the morning, and we were targeting this 15 minute fair value gap below us. Okay, our first CP was five points and then 10 points. Now, I had this yellow line because I had measured this run up from 9.30 to about 9.37. We pull this FIB from high to low and put my stand ICT standard deviation. This run up, if we were to use this low as a fulcrum point and open it like a door one time, we would come down to about standard deviation of one. So how far could it potentially run lower when we're looking at price up here? Well, most likely at least one, right? Now we ran to almost two here before um, we ran up and away. But this was the AM silver bullet. And the added confirmation here was this balanced price range, okay? and this five minute fair value gap being respected. Our target was this 15 minute fair value gap as a our draw of liquidity here. And then we'll, we took another position in the afternoon. So we'll move over to the PM session here. Okay, let me reload this and see if my markups will load. Okay, so the silver bullet PM is going to be between 2 and 3 PM, okay? And uh, let me take a quick break to talk to you guys about the Discord here, okay? So um, the Discord, um, we call, I called this, let's see here, um, right here, okay? This was um, today, 11, 12 a.m., but I'm on the Pacific time. So this was uh, 2 p.m. So we see potential sales here off of the five minute. Um, and then also this morning, we, we called the, uh, some people took buys before the silver bullet. Um, see um but uh if you're interested we do trade live here tuesday through thursday um we have our live trading channel here uh, it's through a zoom link so um we will be doing a giveaway soon we're going to be giving away two 10ks so there's a few slots left to join the discord group so be sure to click the link below if that's something you're interested in um, tons and tons of value in here, um, education, self-development, um, tons of chats for your pairs that you're trading. Um, we even do homework, weekly outlooks, and and so much more. So let's get back into the PM session. So on the PM session, I was looking at the five-minute time frame here. So if we look, we had dropped down, okay? So we had went right back up to the highs from the morning that we came up into this 15 minute fair value gap. And if you notice ever so slightly, we mohawked. If I can, if I take these, where's out here? We mohawked just slightly above it, taking out a little bit of liquidity there in those highs from the morning session. And then we dropped away from it, okay? We left this swing low. We broke that low with a candle body closure uh, here. Taking this back again. Right in there. Then we had another break of this low here, there. And when we had this breakdown, this is your 2022 model. We left this five minute fair value gap here. So 
to add confirmation here, these last two up close candles are your order block on the five minute. Okay, we're using the candle bodies here. Okay, so what confirms this order block as a valid order block? The fair the fair value gap does. So the these two up close candles with this displacement that created this fair value gap is your key. This is your key to add confirmation. And it's going to help increase your win rate with these setups. Okay. So we also, we drop down to the uh, one minute. Um, we did close um, above the fair value gap here. We were in a little bit of drawdown. But this order block on the five minute time frame was giving me the confidence to hold this trade because we were respecting with closures inside of this order block. And then ultimately we pushed away for our five points. Um, it did run 10, but we secured uh, five here in the afternoon. So if you, if we see here, we also have a breaker block within this order block and our five minute fair value gap. So we have this high, low, higher high, and then we run lower just before the 2 p.m. mark, okay? So that means the last two down close candles inside of this order block and inside of this, of yeah, this order block is a breaker. So if we pull up this breaker. So these two candles, the bearish candles here, or your breaker, which we also were respecting inside of this order block. So you have three confirmations here, okay? So what makes this a breaker? We have this high, low, higher high, and then we trade below it, okay? So this fake up, down, fake up move, just swing up and then trade below, okay? These lows are lower than these lows and these highs and the candle bodies are higher than these highs. So high, low, higher high, high, low, higher high, then trade below. These last two before the fake move up are your breaker block, okay? So we're pairing the breaker, bearish breaker, the bearish order block, five minute bearish fair value gap, and we target how do you, how do you, well, how do you know it's going to go five? Well, if we look at the run it did from 11 into the afternoon session, um, the last run here. So we have a little bit of consolidation just before lunch, but if we look right at the lunch hour, we run from this low to this swing high. Equilibrium is right here. Well, we can see there's a PD array inside of this five minute tiny fair value gap. So you could have used this as your low hanging fruit, which gives you about 7.3 or going for the civil bullet rules of a one to one or one to two. So five to 10 points, which lines up with this other fair value gap that's also in discount here which ultimately tags in and then comes back up and we close uh, right here at 4.30 for the end of the day. So with that being said, I will catch you guys later. Hope this was insightful. Until next time, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, trade safe.